With the right front on the table, with the right side upwards, place the right side of the zip facing onto the front, matching the center front seam and the waist. The notch will indicate the end of the zip. Now stitch the pre-prepared zip facing to the center front. Match the seam allowances and the balance mark. Do not stitch below the zip opening. Turn the facing over. Seam allowances towards the facing and under stitch. Remember to pull the two layers apart. Do not stitch below the zip opening. Roll the facing onto the inside of the garment. Keep a nice smooth rolled edge and press in place. Place the right front onto a table with the right side up. Now place the left side of the garment onto the right front, matching seam allowances. Turn the garment over to reveal the zip facing. Match the seam allowances accurately and the balance mark. With the zip facing out of the way, join the crotch centre front seam from below the zip notch to the end of the crutch line. However, Stop sewing before the end at the seam allowance. This is the junction of the inside front seam and the crotch line. Leaving this free will allow you to join the inside seam line. Here we see the right side of the garment showing the seam below the zip to the end of the crotch seam. Now we'll change a general purpose sewing foot to the right handed zipper foot. Align the zip to the overlocked side of the zip guard and the top edge of the zip guard. Stitch in place a few millimetres away from the teeth. You will need to open the zip at the top of the insertion, halfway down. When you reach the puller, stop, leave the needle in the fabric, lift the foot and close the zip. Then stitch to the bottom of the zip. Lay the completed zip guard on the table, place the left side of the front trouser over the zip matching the seam allowances. Now stitch the front of the trouser to the zip guard from the waist to the end of the zip tab. Do not go beyond the zip tab. The balance mark will show you where to stop. Take care not to stitch anything other than the seam allowances together. Fold everything out of the way as you make all the seams come together in, below the zip.
then backstitch to secure. Here you can see the zip guard in place with the zip on the left side of the garment. No visible stitching can be seen where the zip is inserted. However, when the garment is seen on the wrong side, two visible stitch lines are apparent. For the right side of the garment facing you, align the waistline and create a smooth line running from the waist to the inside seam. If necessary, use a few pins to maintain this alignment. It is optional to either use a zipper foot at this stage or return to the general purpose sewing foot. Turn the garment over and we will stitch the zip to the facing of the right front. With all layers of the garment back, stitch the zip only to the facing. Stitch to the end of the facing and remove from the machine. Now we've completed the first row of safety stitch to the edge of the zip. You can now go back to the right-handed zipper foot and put a second row of safety stitch close to the zip teeth. Take care not to stitch too close to the zip or the zip will not open smoothly. From the front, no visible stitch line can be seen. This is the situation on the wrong side of the garment. The next process is stitching the zip to the facing and the trouser front. Here you can see that the zip facing and the guard are separated and the lining is pinned to the centre front. From the right side of the garment, chalk a decorative line to the centre front of the trouser. The line must finish at the end of the zip opening. Stitch on this line through to the facing on the back. Backstitch or bar tack at the end to secure. Here you can see the decorative stitch on the inside of the garment. Two rows of safety stitch and one row of decor decorative stitch is seen on the wrong side of the garment. One row of decorative and safety stitch on the right side of the garment. On the left side of the garment, you can see the two rows of safety stitch on the inside of the garment. However, nothing is shown on the right side. When the zip is open, you can now see the guard and the facing in the right position. Now we'll reinforce the guard and the facing together. From the wrong side of the garment, we are going to secure the guard 
and the facing together. This will prevent the zip breaking when putting the garment on. Close to the bottom of the curve, approximately one centimetre, we'll just double stitch, back stitch those two pieces together. The fly front is now successfully completed. This is for ladies right over left, so do reverse all the sequences for the men, which is left over right.